Okay, so I did a thing. Um, this thing has to do with what I was talking about the other day when I was talking about getting free accessories. You don't know unless you ask. Uh, maybe going to a thrift store or asking your IT department if you work in a, a larger place or maybe a school or, or something. Um, those types of things where you can get a, a computer or you can get accessories for a computer kind of on the cheap. But there's also a way if you're on a real, real extreme budget, you may be able to do more than that. It's possible that you could end up with a pretty decent computer that can tide you over until you actually, you know, can afford a better system or can upgrade or, or do something else. But if you're looking to get something or maybe you just need a backup system of some type, it might not be so far fetched to do something, say, on eBay. And you're thinking, OK, yeah, eBay has a bunch of stuff like, you know, secondhand PCs and all that stuff all the time. Or you can even buy refurbished off of, say, Amazon or something. But I'm going to take this just a little bit, a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to try to do an under $200 build with a mixture of new parts and used parts and see what we can get out of it. Now keep in mind, some of these are going to be with the free accessories I got before. Uh, the keyboard, uh, I've got a monitor, uh, I can, mice are a dime a dozen, I can find a mouse anywhere. Um, that shouldn't cost me more than a few bucks. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't upgrade the memory if I need to. But the main part of this is I'm going looking on eBay, and I've actually already done this and ordered it. And for about 43 bucks, let me show you what I got here. This is a non-working Dell Optiplex 5040 MT. Now, it's a mini tower, and you're thinking, oh, there's no way you're going to be able to put anything into it. But it's not that bad, or it's not as bad as it seems. Now, this is non-working, as is, no returns or anything like that. It cost $42 with tax. It was $46 even, I think it was. Free shipping. They're, the folks are just looking to get rid of it. But one key thing that got my attention was when I saw that it does boot up. Now, it boots up. It comes with a single stick of RAM, which is fine because you can buy, eight, you can buy 16 gig kits for about 20 bucks. But this shows that it's booting up. So that means the CPU works. That means that the cooler more than likely works. It's got some kind of video out, video out that there's power and that all of these things are in some kind of form or fashion working to some extent. Now it's got an Intel 6500 in it. Um, that's sixth generation. It's not too bad. It is an i5, four core, four thread. So it's not going to be as good as maybe the Xeon I was using in a previous video. But that might be something fair we can test because the Xeon build I did for around 300 if you guys remember. This I'm trying to come in under 200 So what I'm going to do here is I'm thinking that I can go ahead and do this PC, put a new drive in it, a new SSD, because it doesn't come with anything in it right now. So I can put an SSD in it. Even if I get a Windows install, you can get something off of, say, GVG Mall or VIPCD keys. Uh, you can get a license like that for maybe $13, $14. The drive itself, the SSD, if I get a 500 terabyte or 500 gig hard drive, I'm still not looking at spending more than about $25, $28. Memory kits can be another maybe $20. Bucks. So we're all into this minus a video card for just around 100 or so. And then the video card... They're selling a bunch of these 580s, the RX 580 2048s, for in between you know 85 and 105 dollars. Or if I go just a step above that, maybe I can put a more uh, more powerful video card like an RX 6500. Now the RX 6500 is going to have a, a it's going to have a little bit of a limitation because it is PCI 4.0 on a four lane bus, which means it's not going to be able to take advantage of the full capability of that card because this is only PCI 3.0. But um, it doesn't require outside power, and the 580 does. Now, if the 580 has to actually, if it's too tall to fit in the, in the box, I might have to you know, go with the RX 6500. But the advantage of the 6500 is it doesn't take any external power. And this is only, I believe, like a 200 and I want to say it was like a 280 watt power supply. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at that, but I think the specs on it were like 280 watts. It wasn't re wasn't really that powerful, so I am kind of limited in what I can do 
even so much as trying to do a different low profile card, if it takes any kind of external power, we might have an issue. I'm not entirely sure of the dimensions on this box. It looks like it's in between the small form factor and a regular tower. Uh, that three quarter size, I don't know if it's going to take a full size video card, but it does say in the description that it can. So that's something we'll have to take a look at. So while all this stuff is coming in, I'm going to cut to where I've got everything and put together or got everything ready to put it together and do some testing. So that'll be the next thing you see. So I'm going to try to figure a way to gracefully open this while holding the camera. And yes, it did come. We'll see if I can get in here. Give me just a second. I probably should have put the camera on a tripod. I uh, did not. So bear with me while I open this box. Obviously, it's very well packed. Um, and this is for a computer or a PC that's supposed to be DOA. It's not supposed to be working. It's supposed to be for parts only. But they still took the time and care to pack it up and make it look good. So, uh, yeah, kudos to them for that. And I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll leave the seller down in the description, too. This looks like it is uh, not a full-size, but we'll see. I don't even know. I don't think a full-size GPU is going to go in there, but we'll find out. So let me uh, pull off the packing and break it open and we'll start looking at it. <laughs> yeah, device has deep scratches. There's a band name in there somewhere. Then also, if, um, yeah, if you can see that in there, she's a mite bit dusty. We gotta, gotta do some cleaning. But they, they said it was in scratched up condition. They said it was in bad condition. Uh, they've wrapped it really well. I mean, if this is in bad condition, let's see what we can do with it. Oh, by the way, I don't think it's going to fit a full-size graphics card. There's just no way. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, there's more wholesome goodness down in there. See that? Yeah, this thing's going to need a full clean. But the main thing I'm worried about is if this thing actually works. Yeah, we're going to end up using either the 1030 or a 6500 in there. But that's okay. That's all right. We got this. Now, got everything hooked up. It does not have a drive in it yet. I'm suspecting that is mainly what's wrong with it. Uh, one thing I need to say about the smell, it, it smells a little bit like burnt popcorn. That's that's the closest I can closest I can give to a description of what it smells like. But I'm sure it's going to smell a lot better once we, uh, yeah, once we deal with all that. So let's give it a shot. Power button. We got power. Power supply might be okay. I'm hoping she boots. Oh, I saw a flash. I'm hoping we get into the BIOS. No bootable devices found. Let's go to F2. Rebooting into setup. Come on, baby. And there we go. All right, so the computer itself works. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an SSD in here and see if we can boot into Windows. And if we can, then for $40, I got a heck of a deal because you figure an SSD is gonna be cheap. This has eight gig of RAM, it has video and everything. We're gonna do some other things to it, but I think we can make this a gaming computer for under 200 bucks. Do we have something? We have something. This looks like, oh, did I put Windows 11 on here, this drive? I should have had Windows 10 on it. We'll see what comes up. There's an operating system, getting devices ready. This is looking promising. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Now, I don't have it connected to the internet yet, but that's okay. But it's up. And for the price of an SSD, $40 free shipping, we got something going here. We're going to, now it's time to clean it up, turn it into a PC, a gaming PC. I don't know if that's going to be part of this video. It might as well. We'll see what happens. But I've got it up. It's working. And uh, the next step is to give it a good cleaning, which might end up being a whole other video by itself. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We, we've got something going here. 40 bucks plus the SSD. 
So as luck would have it, I am not going to be able to wrap all of this into one video. We're going to go ahead and do the cleaning and the upgrade and all that stuff in another video with some benchmarks. And then we'll go ahead and kind of compare that to the $300 build. I just wanted to kind of show here, uh, and, and it's because I'm getting called away to go actually do a review on a laptop. So that will show up on the channel shortly. Uh, but I just, I kind of wanted to show here that if you are careful on eBay and you're looking for something that's going to tide you over, you can find something that you can get for I mean, dirt cheap. I mean, this cost me, including tax, shipping was free, $46. And then an SSD is cheap. So you can have a working computer. Now, is it a gaming computer? No, but we're going to turn it into that for under 200 bucks, And then we'll test against the 300 First, I have to clean it up. And I think I'm going to do the cleaning of that uh, where I'm doing the laptop review. So hopefully we'll be able to get all these going together. And instead of seeing one video every week-ish, you guys will be able to see more than one video a week or maybe three every two weeks or something like that. We'll get this thing rolling again. And uh, there's so much stuff that is just backing up on me. <laughs> really got to get, I got to get some of these done and edit it and out. And uh, I know, but hey, look, if you if you get a chance, follow me on the other socials. I'm, I've got a video coming that's, that's explaining some of those if you haven't seen it already. Um, if you don't do anything else, like, subscribe or anything like that or visit any of the socials, just be good to each other. Be kind. Uh, smile. Wave. Hold the door open. Say good morning. Something. Anything. Do something kind. It doesn't cost anything to be nice, right? And I say it at the end of every video, and I really, really from the heart mean it. It doesn't cost anything to be nice. It doesn't cost anything to be kind. And uh, the whole world would be just a little bit better off if everybody took one part of their day just to do something nice, wouldn't it? Maybe. Throw me a bone here, somebody. Anyway, until I get myself into something I got no business getting into, like cleaning up that $46 build or finishing this or the laptop or whatever, <laughs> uh, that's all I got for right now. So I'll see you later.